I should have known better. I should have seen the warning signs. There I was, frantically rushing to finish my big project by the deadline, the scent of freshly brewed coffee wafting through the air. With only one hour left, I felt the panic creeping in, clouding my thoughts like a dense fog. I reached for my cup of steaming hot coffee, and in that fateful moment, everything changed. My hand trembled. I'm not sure if it was due to exhaustion, nerves, or just plain clumsiness, but the result was the same. In an instant, a wave of dark liquid cascaded over my laptop keyboard. Panic quickly turned to despair as I watched in horror, powerless to stop the brown liquid from infiltrating every crevice of my precious machine. Time seemed to slow down, as if to draw out the agony of the situation. The once soothing aroma of coffee now became the stench of impending doom. As I desperately tried to mop up the mess, my laptop screen flickered and went black. My heart raced, the deadline rapidly approaching, and my work seemingly lost forever. In a desperate attempt to save my files, I frantically called my company's IT department. Of course, the line was busy. So, I had no choice but to turn to the last person I ever wanted to ask for help, my smug co-worker, Steve. The office know it all, he never missed a chance to boast about his technical prowess. It was like a nightmare coming true. Swallowing my pride, I explained the situation. To my surprise, Steve didn't gloat. Instead, his face grew serious, and he sprang into action. He grabbed my laptop and brought it over to his desk, hands flying over the keys with practiced ease. I held my breath, feeling both hope and trepidation, watching my rival become my savior. As the minutes ticked by, the tension in the room was palpable. I was on the edge of my seat, my stomach in knots. Finally, Steve looked up at me with a triumphant smile. I managed to recover your files and transfer them to your backup laptop, he said. I couldn't believe it. My work was saved, and the looming catastrophe averted. With only minutes to spare, I submitted my project just in the nick of time. Gratitude and relief washed over me, and I turned to thank Steve for his unexpected kindness. As we shared an awkward but sincere handshake, I realized that I had misjudged him. Steve wasn't just a boastful co-worker, he was a skilled professional who had come through in my time of need. As I walked back to my desk, a new sense of camaraderie filled the air. In the midst of disaster, an unlikely hero had emerged, and I had gained both redemption and a newfound respect for my co-worker. Sometimes, it takes a spill, a fall, or a total mess to truly see the people around us for who they really are. And in the end, the sweet taste of success made up for the bitter taste of that ill-fated cup of coffee. A Neural Narration Story